continuing on finding the domain of the functions. And these two situations are different than the previous two. Let me show you the key points. For number 3 here, we have f of x is equal to log base 2 of x squared. So once again, because we're talking about the log function, so we are going to use the same principle here. We are going to make sure, and once again, let's write down the word, make sure. The inside here is x squared. We have to make sure the inside is greater than 0. So we put down x squared is greater than 0. And now we have this inequality. And let me ask you, can we just take the square root on both sides? The answer to that is no. Okay, the answer to that is no. We cannot just take the square root on both sides and solve this inequality. Whenever we have a quadratic, meaning when we have x to a second power, in the inequality, we cannot do that. Let me show you how we are supposed to do this. The safest way to do this is look at a number line, okay? And then on this number line, we are going to indicate the numbers that we care first. And to find the numbers that we care is, let me just put it down here. You see that you have x squared is greater than 0. You ask yourself, how can I make this part, the x squared to be 0? Well, to that, it's just 0. We care about 0. So I'm going to come to a number line and then indicate 0 here. We care about 0. However, I am not going to include 0. And the reason for that is because 0, if you put down 0 greater than 0, this is false, right? So I'm not going to include 0, meaning I'm going to just put an open circle here. Okay? This is false, so we are not including the 0. And this is what we are going to do to continue. We are going to pick a number less than this number that we care. So give me a number less, less than 0. Maybe negative 1, right? And you plug in negative 1 into this inequality. So we will get negative 1 in the parentheses, square, and then I will check in to see if this is greater than 0 or not. Negative 1 square is what? It's positive 1. Positive 1, is that greater than 0? Yes, this is correct, right? So we are going to include this part of the number line. And this keeps on going forever to the left because we could choose any number less than 0. So any number less than 0 will make this work. Similarly, we are going to pick a number bigger than 0, let's say 3. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter, okay? Earlier I used negative 1, but here I can use 3. I can use any number bigger than 0. Plugging 3 into this x, and we see we have 3 squared. Is this greater than 0? Yes, because this is just 9 greater than 0. So of course, positive 9 is bigger than 0. We have this part of the number line. Here is how we are going to write down the answer in the interval notation. As you can see, this is pretty much the whole number line, except for 0. And let me write down, this is the domain of this function. First, look at this part. This, for the interval notation, we have all the way from negative infinity, because it keeps on going to the left. Negative infinity, comma, up to 0, so we put on 0. And then, for negative infinity, we are not including that. For 0, we are not including that neither. Okay? Then, we have the second part, which is this. We are going to put down union. Union means we just put these two together. For this part of the graph, we can write down 0 first, comma, positive infinity, and then we don't want to include the 0, so parentheses, we are using parentheses for the infinity, so we are done. This is the domain for this function. It's pretty much saying everything except for 0. Okay, and now let's look at this situation when we have g of x is equal to log base 5 of x to the third power. Once again, we are going to make sure that inside, so the x to the third power, and we have to make sure x to the third power is bigger than 0. And I will show you with a similar approach as well. We have to find out the numbers that we care in this case. So let me write it down. To do that, we ask ourselves, how can we make this part? 0. The only way is 0 to the third power is 0, so we care about 0 again. 
Well, I'm going to indicate here is my zero, but I'm not including the zero neither in this case. So open circle here. This time, we're going to pick a number less than zero. We're going to do test values pretty much. Let's say I want to use negative two. You can use any numbers that you want as long as it's less than zero. Plugging negative two into this part right here, we will have negative two to the third power is this greater than zero. Unfortunately, negative two to the third power give us negative eight. When you have this greater than zero, this is false. In that case, you cross it out, you don't shade this part of the number line. And you see, on the other hand, if you pick a number that's bigger than zero, let's say five. Plugging five into this x here, we have five to the third power, and is this greater than zero? Five to the third power is 125. This is certainly bigger than zero. This time, we're shading this part only, right? So, in this situation here, when we have x to the third power, the domain is only this part of the number line, and let me write it down. The domain, it's pretty much just 0 to positive infinity, parentheses, parentheses, and we are done. These two examples are showing you how to take care of when we have an inequality that's not linear. When we have x squared or x cubed, you have to do these kind of things to make sure things happen. And check out the next video for the other situations. That's it.